Brooke, this is going to come in two separate rounds. There will be a break in between the two. So let's time this out for you. The first one getting closer and closer. It's already to Iowa and it's approaching Wisconsin right now. So there's the first low pressure that will affect us. A lot of us, especially this afternoon going into the evening, that's going to be that round, then a break. And then the next one way out to the west that affects us early tomorrow morning into the morning hours. I'll get to that in a second. Precipitation type is going to be key here in that atmospheric profile. Now ahead of these lows, you saw that stationary front. We're bringing in some warmer air aloft. That's the key because at the surface, we're probably going to be just below freezing in spots. So it's going to be raining, but then it freezes when it hits like the pavement, some trees, power lines. That's the threat that we're going to be watching, especially this afternoon and evening for a lot of us. I'll time it out here in a second, but it's completely quiet. Green Bay 34 winds are light. But as that system approaches, winds are going to be picking up. So here's a look at precip way down in Iowa. That's where things are already starting. Now that's going to start to work its way in, starting from the north and west as we go through mid to late morning. You see here towards Anago, uh, close to Shawano. But then watch for the rest of us as we go into the afternoon. Anyone with this pink shading, that's where the freezing rain and sleet threat is going to be going through the afternoon right into the evening. You see that starts to creep its way to the north as well. But then watch what happens. That's actually going to taper off for a while late tonight. But then the second round moves in here tomorrow morning in the early morning hours, moves on through with some freezing rain, and then it stops. But then going into the afternoon, our temperatures might get warm enough to do some melting. I'll get to that in a second, but winter weather advisories. Now they're going to start off to the north and west mid morning. The rest of us here, like from Brown out of Gamey South to Fond du Lac, Green Lake and Marquette with these ice storm warnings. That's actually going to start in the mid afternoon hours and all of this goes until tomorrow evening. But these could be dropped early because our temperatures might creep up well above freezing. We'll talk about that in a second, but there's the warmer air creeping to our south. Every single degree with this system is going to make a difference. So we could shift some of that icing potential north or south, but currently it's quiet 30 in Appleton. 37 in Oshkosh wind chills. Remember the winds are light, so wind chills not an issue right now, but they'll be picking up as we go through the day. So watch this first round and you see as we go into the mid to late afternoon hours, that's Green Bay just north of there and south freezing rain. That batch moves on out. There's going to be a lull late tonight and watch the second batch. It gets here as far as tomorrow in the early morning hours, then that tapers off. Here's kind of a closer look at the timing of this first batch. You see it snowing lightly off to the north and west, and then here comes that freezing rain right in the middle going through the mid afternoon into the evening hours. So the evening commute probably going to be impacted much more than this early morning commute where it's completely quiet. How much ice out of this? It all depends on where the uh, precip actually sets up and exactly what that temperature is going to be. But snow, we're keeping that off to the north and west for the most part. Looks like about one to two inches for most of you before it tapers off. And then we warm things up actually tomorrow afternoon. So today 35. Our temperatures actually might dip a little bit as we go into the afternoon. That wintry mix developing, it starts as snow off to the north and west for the rest of us. Freezing rain and rain going all over to freezing rain into the evening. But even that going to taper off for a while. And then early tomorrow morning, it redevelops with freezing rain, but that changes over to some rain and some drizzle late in the morning into the afternoon. C38. So any sort of ice accumulation, if it is over a quarter of an inch, it's going to start to melt a little bit as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Now, Wednesday and Thursday with that sunshine and temperatures not that cold, that also could melt some of this ice. But either way, you know, Brooke, you have even a tenth, a quarter of an inch of ice on power lines, trees. That can cause some problems, especially with some of that wind. Yeah, this kind of weather can be super tricky on the roads, too. So those uh, tips we've been getting from the boys all morning. Super helpful. Yeah. All right. Thanks.